people in Alfama guys must be very fit and here we are guys built in the tallest hill in Lisbon which is Miraduro da Signora do Monte from Miraduro da Graça guys we are going downhill seven minutes to Miraduro Porta do Sol and Miraduro Santa Lucia we are in the castle of Sao George we just arrived at the Lisbon Cathedral the oldest church in Portugal Saudi Nice. Around the corner, guys, you come to the Thieves Market. Five o'clock, and we are at Pantheon National. In the first room, we got these people inside the tombs, and of course, Amalia Rodriguez, a famous photo singer. And we just arrived at the terrace. Look at this guys, you see all of those people? They are waiting for the Trump 28. Woo! Good morning guys from Portugal. We are in Lisbon this time, the largest city and capital of Portugal. And we started this Portuguese series from Faro on the 22nd of May. And we went to Lagos and Lagos Lisbon. In Lisbon, I have about five days to see most of the things. I'm starting at the Alfama district, the oldest and most historic district. My first stop is the Tram 28, which it should be somewhere here at Martin Moritz. It's, I think, the starting point. So the price ticket for the Tram 28 is three euros. Get a card, a card to put me cheaper, but I forgot about it. We got down really early. So I pressed the button at the wrong stop, guys. I ended up at Rua Palma and not Rua Grasa, which was originally the plan. And here on my left, we got Shafaris to attend them. So now we have to walk to our first Miraduro. There's no way I would have found this path if it wasn't for Google. So it says we go from here. I hope I don't end in someone's house. The people in Alfama guys must be very fit going up and down these roads. It's unbelievable. Oh, got some nice views. The more up we go. We need to go all the way up there. This is not the first thing we want to see early in the morning. But we don't got any other choice. So a little bit exercise doesn't harm anyone. That's a lot of steps though. Flipping out. We made it guys. It smells pee here everywhere. I think that's a miradur. And here we are guys, built in the tallest hill in Lisbon, which is Miraduro da Signora do Monte. Some incredible views, so it was definitely worth it. And over there we can see also the castle that we'll be exploring later on. What a better way guys to try our first pasta tenata here with this view so let's give it a go i think it's an egg tart so possibly should be really nice squeeze this really nice worth the hype and by the way walking it's not only the way you can get here you can maybe use tuk tuk or an uber Taxi, it's up to you. And here we got the Miraduro da Grasa, guys. A good view of the castle. Not as busy as Miraduro da Signora do Monte, but still 
it's only eight minute walk from there to here so why not check it out really quick and then continue your day from Miraduro da Grasa guys we are going downhill seven minutes to Miraduro Porta to Sol and Miraduro Santa Lucia and this is Miraduro Porta to Sol a more closer look towards the sea and Miraduro's Porta to Sol is also on that side and I think if you go down there is a tunnel with a nice art which I need to check it out I'm not sure if it's on that side or you need to go down through some stairs the views from the Miraduro Porta to Sol are good but are not great but definitely put it on your list to come and check it out so that's it from here let's go on the other side go find the tunnel and then head to Miraduro Santa Lucia the comic strip of Nuno Saraiva telling the history of Lisbon everything that happened a really cool hidden spot this side you got a place to sit and have a drink or some breakfast some pastries and these are the views from the other side guys a bit better i believe and let's go a bit more further from the coffee shop on the right it's packed with tourists now the time is 11 30 so you can imagine what will be happening later on and that's the Miraduro Santa Lucia where we're we going after good views also from here and we just came now to Miraduro Santa Lucia oh beautiful tides here But it's really, really busy, guys. Really, really busy. As you can see, guys, it gets busier and busier, and it's time for us to walk to the castle of South George. It's about 10 minutes walk from here and that's what we're doing there is a more quieter area actually which possibly i don't think we get the same views because there is a wall blocking it but still you can get some views of the sea and opposite of that viewpoint you got pastéis de bacalhau and also codfish cakes which is what we're having because it's famous here in lisbon Let's decide what we have in process. I'm going for a cod fish. So I got one of these cod fish. What's the name of this one? What? Porco. Porco and then a chicken bowl. And then of course another pastel de nut. Total cost guys, 730. That's a good idea. <laughs> Amazing man. There's so many tourists, oh my god. I was expecting to be less people at least at this time and we are in the castle of South George easy peasy guys you get your ticket online I paid 15 euros for it just a few clicks and you will save time by waiting in line for no reason so for the map guys you come here near the entrance and you scan the language that you want and you get the map let me take you to the views guys We have been exploring around the castle for a bit and then we have this it's as if we wasn't even in the castle so let me give you a brief explanation of what we've done so far we enter here went around the views all the way like this went to the terrace passed through the museum then went to the romantic garden and then we are now ready to enter the castle and periscopio from there we will go to the archaeological site
the castle is big guys you need time and not one hour like the security guard told me if you're not taking pictures possibly you need one hour but if you're taking pictures stopping having your drink eating something you need more than that so we are leaving from the castle it's three o'clock and i overstayed let's get to this one cathedral and we see what's next i don't even know what this is <laughs> i just find it by accident We just arrived at the Lisboa Cathedral, the oldest church in Portugal. But I was reading that the oldest cathedral in Portugal is Braga. So let's enter in, find out about the entry fee and what can you see in this cathedral. And I will see you in a bit. The time 3.15 and we see how long it takes us to see Lisbon Cathedral. To enter the cathedral is free, but to see the treasury, I think it's five euros. That's what I paid for. down from the Lisbon Cathedral guys and I'm heading towards Igreja de Sao Vicente de Ferro and Panteão Nacional. Also there we got the Thieves Market so those two close I think at six o'clock and the Thieves Market close at five so we got about one hour because it's four o'clock and we need to do all of those three. In the meantime I'm passing through nice streets well, I guess we are getting lost in the alleys. That's not an alley, so we are going on this side. And why not explore the Alfama, the old historic district? Here's some names in case you want to put them on your Google, because I don't know what these alleys are called. So we are just wandering around. One Virginia, but chocolate cup. Aha! Uh -huh. Amazing. What's your name? No. My name? Yes. Fernanda. 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 Okay. Saudi. 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 Is meant cheers? Si. Sí. Saudi. Saudi. Huh? Nice. Really nice. And this you eat? Si. Oh. Mm. Bon. Saudi. 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 Obrigada. Obrigada. Put it on your Google. Find the lady. Drink or drink. Adios. Ciao. Nice meeting you. Ciao, ciao. Hola. We try one more here also. Why not? Uno? Quinginha. How much is it? Here we go, one more guys that is in the house here selling the Ingenia, really nice one. So, Saudi. Nice. Obrigado. Thank you. Oh, nice smell of the fish everywhere. So, 11 minutes from this spot we will be going to Ingresia de São Vicente Fiora Everyone going crazy whenever they see Trump From Ingresia de São Vicente de Fiora we are heading towards Panteão Nacional which is only 3 minutes from here Around the corner guys, you come to the thieves market Here you got one shoe, we're missing another one <laughs> You need to wear only one there Maybe there's a discount, I don't know But there was one shoe <laughs> I think that's it, eh? I think we need to go around 
and then visit Pantheon National, which it should be that one. 150, yeah? Obrigado. Obrigado. And we got a small souvenir just to say we got something from the market. I don't know what is this, but let's wait and see. Ah, you're getting married. That's awesome. o'clock and we are at Pantheon National there is no way I will make it guys to go also to the church so we need to decide one and I'm choosing this one we are in and the ticket was actually four euros to go and admire some views on the top and also you can see some tombs but I will tell you a little bit more about them just in a second in the first room Got these people inside the tombs, and of course, Amalia Rodriguez, a famous photo singer. And there it is. When you see the dates here on the tombs, it means that the bodies are inside. If you don't see the dates on the tombs, it means the tomb is just for a memory. I don't know about the other people, but possibly they're popular to be here so that's room one let's see the others so here you got in the memory of Luis de Camões, Pedro Alvarez Cabral and Infante de Henrique a very popular people here but their bodies are not in these tombs it's just for the memory here we go I think this one was a very popular football player in the 60s Vasco de Gama, we know. Alfonso de Albuquerque, we don't know. Nuno Alvarez Pereira, we don't know. Many steps to go up the terrace. <sighs> and we just arrived at the terrace. I'm not making it to the church which is exactly opposite me and it's annoying uh, what a better way to eat our food with a view this cold fish is actually really nice and of course our pasta then at the witch to eat it you do a squeeze and that's how you eat it It took them 400 years to build this pantheon and we are off. A Portuguese name by the way of this market is Feira da Litra Mercado de Santa Clara. I think I got it correct and that's why I wasn't telling it on my vlogs because these are long words for me. The plan it's done, it's 6 o'clock and I have no idea what I'm going to do now. I just showed you is Jardim da Grasa and it's under the Miraduro da Grasa that I showed you in the lunchtime in the morning when we was doing the vlogs so going down guys is as hard as going up don't make a mistake that is easier so if you want to use a tuk-tuk go ahead save your legs but definitely wear some comfortable hiking shoes not even slippers your feet will get so bad. I was looking for the train station and I came somewhere with clothes. We are in Plaza Martin Moniz and it's a very dodgy area guys, very dodgy. You will be asked if you want any weed every one second. But anyway, I'm here because I got this from the train station. I paid 50p and then you 
recharge it with money so it costs you cheaper when you use the transportation look at this guys you see all of these people they are waiting for the trump 28 so imagine that if you want to use it and that's why it's hard for the locals to even use the trump because of the tourists people are getting upset because they're coming from here instead of the line yes another one straight away guys so i think there are three behind each other if i'm not wrong we are not doing anything special so this itinerary we learned here guys it's a saturday i should be outside drinking but unfortunately i need to wake up early so i'm not gonna do that i will just grab some food and bring it to a hotel and then sleep i hope you enjoyed this vlog guys of what to do in Alfama this week i tried to cover everything and went really good so tomorrow the plan is to go to Belém this week so stay tuned and i'll see you tomorrow good night guys Thank you.